Emergency interrogation room with an injured man. Several people rushed the injured man to the medical room while the doctors were busy giving first aid. The masked Delta team member who brought the man locked the door to the medical room. He then blocked the only camera in the room and chose a sharp scalpel. The soldier walks up behind the doctor. He quickly strikes and stabs the doctor. The man next to him is stunned, but is stabbed immediately afterwards. He ends by stabbing the man on the operating table. 2022 Jason Clark's latest action thriller, Black Sight. Just 40 minutes earlier, Delta Special Forces carry out a covert arrest operation in Ankara. The operation went exceptionally well. It took little effort to capture Jack, the prime suspect in the terrorist operation, and transported her to Avi's location. Hidden in the Jordanian desert, in a bunker called Black Prison. It's run by the Five Eyes Coalition and Israeli intelligence. It's one of hundreds of intelligence prisons that are responsible for the secret. Capture and interrogation and execution of suspects who threaten the League's interests. Inside, agents from various countries work together to share information. Jack was involved in the bombing of a hospital in Istanbul a month ago. 79 people were killed and over 100 injured. Abby's husband and young daughter were also killed in the blast. The suspect, Jack had just been delivered to. The Delta Special Forces captain who was transporting him requested a secret interrogation and asked that surveillance and video be turned off. Abby objected that this was unprocedural but the captain was under orders from his superiors and had special permission. Jack did not speak English. He was also given a female agent to translate in real time during the interrogation. Despite the fact that the captain had given Jack a heavy sentence. But the interrogation did not go well. the few gunshots fired from the interrogation room. The female interrogator was nowhere to be found in the interrogation room. All the others were killed. Abby orders that Jack must not be allowed to slip out of sight. She activated the bunker's emergency security devices. The stone doors to all exits were locked. After Jack killed the doctor in the infirmary, he didn't rush to escape. Instead, he made his way to the bottom level of the bunker where the suspects were being held. He killed all the guards and opened the prison's electronic hatch. All the suspects were released. It seems he was trying to cause confusion and get in the way. Jack also destroyed all communications to the outside of the bunker. The bunker is out of communication. At the same time, alarms and countdowns were sounding in the bunker. Abby knew that if the bunker was out of communication for more than an hour, the base would assume the bunker had fallen. Drones would be sent in to bomb the place and bury everything. They only had one hour. Abby leaves Kenny to watch the surveillance. Jerry is sent out with men to support the already chaotic prison. Jack continues to destroy the electricity in the bunker. He plays a game of cat and mouse with Abby and the others. Abby guessed that Jack had probably been caught on purpose, and that there must be a plan to venture into the bunker. And when Abby searches the bunker's data center, Abby's search for the bunker's data center led her to the female agent who had been unaccounted for as a translator. Before Abby can suspect anything, Kenny recognized the female agent when he checked the surveillance feeds. She had infiltrated the DPS data center and shot the people inside. She rushed to inform Abby. I'm sorry, Abby. I really didn't want to have to do this. By now, the female agent had her gun pointed at Abby. I'm sorry, Abby. I really didn't want to have to do this. The female agent was also very good at fighting Abby. And she didn't seem to be in a hurry to get away from Abby. Turns out she was going to blow up the entire data center. Abby sneaks up on her. But Abby didn't know the bomb had been planted. She dragged the female agent back to the prison and handed her over to Jerry. With 30 minutes left on the countdown, time was running out. That's when Abby hears the alarm for a break-in at the armory. Jack had entered the armory. Abby rushes over with her men. Jerry's side is getting a little restless. He wakes up the female agent and prepares to torture her. He wants to find out what Jack is really doing in the bunker. Just like this. Female agent finally confesses. Jack had come for one of the suspects in the prison, Alan. Because Alan had vital information about the Istanbul hospital bombing, Jerry nods and executes her. Abby rushed back to the prison. But she couldn't stop Jerry from killing the female agent in time. 
Jerry was determined to use Ellen as bait to trap Jack. Before Abby can stop him, Jerry was determined to capture Jack. He forcibly removes Abby's command and shackles her to the prison. With 16 minutes left on the countdown, an overzealous Jerry has just entered the restaurant with Alan when he is confronted by Jack. Jerry's gun is blown away. Jerry's body is stronger than Jack's. He picked Jack up and slammed him to the ground, and Jack happens to find a kitchen knife. He slashed he to death. He smashed the glass door of the dryer into Jerry's head. Alan was very happy to see Jack. Jack asked Uncle Baldy if he had confessed. Alan held out his tight hands to get Jack to untie them, but Jack is here to kill him. Kenny rescues Abby from the prison and the two men split up. Kenny ambushes Jack at the only lift exit in the bunker, and Abby climbs to a high place and uses a satellite phone to contact the base. Jack is very cunning. He takes the priest hostage. He forced him to change into his own clothes, then forced him to run out of the lift. Kenny mistook Jack for the one who had run out and shot him. It wasn't until Kenny saw the cross necklace on the priest that he realized, but it was too late. So Kenny stabbed Jack with a knife, but the iron hook in Jack's hand also sunk deep into Kenny's vitals. Abby finally contacted the base, only to be told that the bombing could no longer be cancelled. Abby's repeated pleas failed to get the base to back off. Abby seemed to understand something. Someone at the base is trying to get rid of them for good. Abby drills back into the bunker. Jack is still there, busy planting C4. Abby shot Jack in the leg and told us to stay put. Jack actually understands English. Hearing Jack speak fluent English, Abby was sure of her suspicions. This was the US setting up a cleanup operation, and Jack was an American agent. He confessed. The Istanbul hospital bombing. It wasn't a terrorist attack. It was a purposeful bombing by drones sent by the US to plant evidence. As the story of the bombing at Abbey's Fort continues to unfold, and the capture of a key figure, Alan. The US is increasingly concerned that the plot is falling apart, that the rest of the Five Eyes Alliance would learn the truth. So they send Jack to destroy the body. There was a sudden explosion. The bomb planted by the female agent in the data center. The bomb planted by the female agent in the data center detonated, destroying all the data in the bunker. And the drones were already coming in with bombs. Abby had to leave Jack behind. She blew open the stone door from inside the bunker. The drone fired its missiles. Abby escaped from the base. She had to get the truth out. To bring the truth to light. For the people who died in the bombing. And for her colleagues who are buried in the bunker. End of episode. Don't forget to follow. Like and comment. Your support is always my motivation. It was a mistake to assign me to this case. I'm their problem now. The real